Okay, okay, hey guys! So, this week we're going to be making um, just a super simple modern table. Shouldn't take too long, um, but we are going to be experiencing the bridge function a little bit more, which is super cool. So go ahead and open up a new scene, and then you're going to be starting with a cylinder. Go ahead and make this cylinder pretty flat since it's going to be the top. So I made the height like five and then or the radius five and then I made the height point two. And then that's basically for the top. So go ahead and just move it up so it's off the ground. Clicking W and dragging on that Y axis. And then go ahead and make a cube. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and move the vertices up. You can change the height if that works better for you. Um, and then, that seems like a pretty good height. Go ahead and um, use the multi-cut tool to make like seven multi-cuts. Something, something around like this, maybe. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, next thing we're going to be doing is you're going to select those top three faces. Oh, click Q before you do that, so you're in selection. Select those top three faces, good. And then you're going to be moving them to be in a sort of like boomerang style. So you can either just do E and rotate it like that and then move it using W. That's kind of how I'm going to be doing it, but there's a lot of different ways you can do it. Whichever one you think looks best for your model, just go for that one. Do the same with the bottom. And then, of course, like you can move them up and down as much as you kind of need to. But um, just make sure that you select those top faces and then rotate that top face to be flat. Because that's what's going to be connecting to the table. It can just look roughly flat. It doesn't have to be exact or anything. Okay, good. Um, I think that mine's a little too short. Kind of looks a little too short, a little too thick. So I'm gonna go ahead and select these vertices over here, click W and then just push them in to make a more thin leg. And then you can select um, just any of the vertices and push up to make it tall. It's too tall. Maybe like that. I don't know. Maybe the height I had was good. So we can put a table on top of it. Yeah. All right. I'll leave it like that. You can press three and kind of see how it's going to turn out. I think mine's a little too wide. So go into vertex mode. And then if you can, try and just select the points on half of the mesh and push in like that so it's not as wide. Okay, I like how that looks a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so that is one of them. Next thing we need to do is um, go ahead and bevel the edges so that it doesn't turn into this weird thing at the bottom and the top. Um, so go into edge mode select the edges on the top and then go ahead and control or yeah control B um, is beveling do two segments make them pretty tight so that um, it turns out nice at the top maybe like that maybe a little bit more Okay, I like how that looks. And then go ahead and bevel the bottom. The same thing. All right, I think that's good. If you don't want it to be round, all you need to do is just bevel uh, these edges. I think I might leave my like that. I kind of like it. 
yeah, I'll leave mine like that. Go ahead and go into the multi-cut tool again when you're in object mode and um, hold control and give me multi-cuts going down like that. That way we get it a little bit more square-like. That looks good. Okay, so this is where it's gonna get a little bit more difficult. So next thing that we're going to be doing is we're gonna be duplicating this guy and um, basically making two other legs from him. So let's go ahead and just go into object mode, select this guy, uh, control D is um, duplicate. So just go ahead and do that once and then click W and move them over. And then you can do it again, control D and move it over. So now we've got three. So what can be kind of difficult is that you're going to want to try and rotate these guys so that they look like they're all level with the table. And doing a, um, a three-legged table can get a little weird because there's no like even place to put them on our cylinder. So I would just kind of guesstimate where they're going to go um, until it looks good for your model. So just rotate them so that they're all pointing inside and then you can just move them however you want. So like, let's say I do mine right there, the first one. Then you have to rotate this one and be going all the way in, like, so that they're all pointing towards the middle. And then maybe we put the other one somewhere on this side, maybe, maybe this guy. It's really just a game of like estimation. Cause then we'll zoom out and see how it looks. Um, okay. Maybe. This one looks really far now. Let's... Too far. Let's say like... Over there. Also, you can push this guy down. So that the legs are a little bit closer to it. Okay, let's do this last leg. Okay. All right, now we like really got to get even on these guys. All right, I'm going to start one of my guys on that pole. So that good. Yeah, that, that looks good. And then this guy needs to be rotated in. Maybe like that. Hmm. Me like that. And we'll just put him like there. Maybe it's a little too far. Put him like there. And then we'll go, maybe this guy goes in like here. Yeah, and then we could push this one back a little bit. So as you can see, it's really just a game of what looks the best. It doesn't have to look perfect. But I would at least try and get them somewhat even so that they look good for your model. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. You can turn off wireframe mode. And then um, these already have three pressed on them, but this one doesn't. So see when you press three on the top, it like does this weird wonky thing. Let's go ahead and bevel those edges so that it doesn't do that. Um, control B is beveling. Do two segments and it's going to be pretty, pretty tight. Actually, that looks good at 0.5 if you just want to do that. Yeah. All right. Looks good. We can go ahead and move this down on top. You can clip them. Clipping is just where they intersect each other. Oh, that's not good. They're not the same height. Which means I move this one down at some point. Um, okay. Looking pretty good. I think the next thing that we should do is bridge these guys to each other. So go into face mode. Oh, I forgot one thing. So go into object mode, select these three legs, go
go up into mesh and click combine. Now they're all one, one object. Now go into face mode and now we'll bridge them together. Go ahead and select one of the faces on that guy. Select this face on that guy. Go to edit mesh, bridge option box, do linear path, and then you can either do automatic or custom. I'm gonna do automatic and then you can keep the 10 divisions. And when you click apply, that's what it's gonna look like. So we're just gonna do that to each of them now. Go ahead and click that guy and that guy. Click apply and then do the same for the last guys. Um, oh, I see. And that guy. Okay, so that's basically the legs. We already have um, subdivision surfaces um, pressed on them, so that doesn't need to change. And looks like they're all beveled and perfect. So looks good. We already beveled the top, so you don't have to change anything there. And then um, you can combine the top of the table to the bottom of the table as well if you want to, just by clicking both the meshes and combining them. I'm noticing that this is a little off, so I'm just going to click W and maybe move it up so that it hopefully touches it. Yeah. Make sure all of your legs go through your table, even just by like a smidge. Okay. Looks pretty good. I think I'm going to go ahead and call it. So if you guys um, have any questions about the model, if you want to see my reference, um, let me know. I write down all these instructions, so if you want to read them instead, send me a message and I can send you a link to that document and you can read from there. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you guys next time. I think we're going to make a chair for our beautiful table, so stay posted for that. I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.